sending the wrestling fans right here, right now in international wrestling. They'll meet. fans we're into the action what a match this shapes up to be nick bockwinkle three times awa world heavyweight champion gino brito that spanned a period of over eight years tom zink a rising star worldwide throughout the world of professional wrestling what a major test what a challenge what an opportunity for tom zink that's right there is nothing finer than when you see two well-tuned athletes like tom zink and nick bockwinkle lock horns and fans watch the wrestling in that match i mean they do wrestle it it's called wrestling and they do it so well well there's not a trick in the book that nick bockwinkle doesn't know in fact i'm sure that he invented a few but rest assured wrestling fans nick bockwinkle a second generation wrestler a great champion for many years this is going to be a match tom zink impressive like anything the last number of weeks he's come back with a vengeance Tom Zink, look at the way he's tying up Nick Bockwinkle in that corner, Gino. You know, this is a situation where a young... Oh! Hold it now. Talk about arrogance. Bockwinkle's always had that. But to slap Zink across the face, I have a feeling that may work less for Bockwinkle's advantage than he may prefer it to be. Well, could be, but then, I mean, it could get Tom Zink very irritated, and then Tom Zink might forget about wrestling and probably try to swing it out with Bob Wingle in the left face because Bob Wingle does have the experience edge. No question about that, but Tom Zink is looking to make a reputation wrestling a man like Nick Bockwinkle, a situation tailor-made for Tom Zink to gain the status he's looking for. Beautiful move by Bockwinkle to scoop Zink up, body slam him, Zink down heavily. Remember, fans, you are seeing a master when you look at Nick Bockwinkle. And if there's a rising young star anywhere in the world of professional wrestling, rising as fast and as brightly as is Tom Zink, I'd like to know about it. There they are, both men in obviously great physical condition, both men wary each of the other, circling each other. Bachwinkle with that little smirk that we're so used to seeing on his face, the locked up now, collar elbow hookup, the two of them each looking for an advantage, neither finding it off the top. Zink back against the ropes, but quickly maneuvering Bachwinkle so that Bachwinkle's against the ropes. Good move by Tom Zink. Bachwinkle with his arms in the air, tried to slap Zink again, but Zink retaliated in time. An arm drag taking Bachwinkle down. Hip toss putting Bachwinkle down the other side of the ring. Another one now. I'll tell you something. You have to be astonished by the way that Tom Zink's acquitting himself. Did you see the way he just scooped Bachwinkle up, slabbed him, and Bachwinkle scooted out of the ring? As is obvious, folks, we have cut out a small portion of this match. Unfortunately, we just couldn't fit the entire match into the constraints that we're faced with, this being television. However, you will see the bulk of this match, and you'll see, certainly without question, all the exciting parts. That goes without saying. Zink right now has a top wrist lock, standing wrist lock now applied to Nick Bockwinkle. Bockwinkle, he has the hair, has the hair, throwing Zink off, but Zink back with a good shoulder tackle, putting Bockwinkle down. Oh, oh my goodness. Zink could have been injured there. He took the brunt of that, you know, right on the I neck. I do not believe it. He could get up after that. Just goes to show you what conditioning will do for you. No question about it. And talking about conditioning, we all know who Tom Zink has been working out with, and that, of course, is the great Rick Martel and the great international champion, Tino Bravo. He's added weight, he's added experience, and he is obvious in fine, fine physical condition. He tried to block that backdrop, but took 
took it part way and only went part way over Gino. I mean, he could have broken his neck on that. He could have easily. The man, again, it's a credit to physical conditioning. He doesn't take nothing lightly. He knew he'd be in the ring in there with a champion. He has to put out 100% and he's doing it. Well, Nick Bockwinkle has faced the very, very best that the world of professional wrestling has to offer and he has faced those over a number of years. He is faced right now and involved in perhaps a match of his life. Tom Zink just showing us, you, and Nick Blockwinkle, the stuff of which he is truly made. This is a championship caliber wrestler, no question about it. There are those who refer to Tom Zink as a Rick Martel clone. He's not, he's his own man. It's one thing to admire someone, to emulate their good points, but Tom Zink is Tom Zink, and we just see now the experience of Nick Blockwinkle paying off because he threw a good hip toss. Zink came back with a punch to the midsection, and now the body slam by Nick Blockwinkle. I'll tell you something. Look at this now. Talk about training holes. Zink picking Bockwinkle up. Body slamming him. Arm drag. Bockwinkle over. And the arm bar locked on by Tom Zink. Well, we knew and have known what Nick Bockwinkle is capable of accomplishing within that square circle Gino Brito. We had a feeling of what Tom Zink was capable of doing. I have really a definite gut reaction. I know you do, and I'm sure all the fans out there do that Tom Zink is without question a dynamic force to be reckoned with here with international wrestling. Well, I mean, you know, to wrestle somebody and get a win is something. But when you wrestle Nick Bockwinkle, just not to lose to a man like Nick Bockwinkle is something. When you hold him to a draw and it's snip and tuck all the way, right there you, you made your star shine. And Tom Zink right now has, has reached that point where he is amongst the top wrestlers in, in, in the world today. Well, taking a couple of elbows to the midsection by Bockwinkle, but showing the value of physical conditioning. The stomach didn't even dent, Gino, with that knee to the midsection by Bockwinkle. Zink lift off. Oh, he took a solid knee lift to the midsection and went over. That may well have got him in the solar plexus. Bockwinkle now, with somewhat of an advantage, backing Zink into the corner turnbuckle, whipping him across the ring diagonally. But Zink showing that he's acquired ring savvy, moved out of the way, and Bockwinkle ran himself through and between the turnbuckles and his shoulder, I believe, into that corner steel post. Tom Zink fighting back now, seizing on the advantage that he now has. Taking the twist on the arm, Bockwinkle doesn't want to let go of the rope. Zink kicking up on the arm, and that makes Bockwinkle release his hold. A good arm bar now with the twist. We've seen Zink apply this in prior weeks. Look at the twist he's putting on. Bockwinkle standing there, not quite sure how to combat this dynamic young performer, Tom Zink, and beautifully, Zink down now, across the arm with the, with the leg drop, and then grab the arm and seize that same advantage. Gino, if you were scoring this match as a judge, in the same way as they score a professional boxing match, I'd call it dead even. Well, probably, and you know what I like is that he started working on, on Nick Bockwinkle's arm, and he, he doesn't go from the arm to the neck to the leg, no. He sticks to that part of the body. He wants to weaken Bockwinkle down, and when, once he'll have him weakened down, then he might go for a pit. Well, you know something? Nick Bockwinkle has been a dedicated athlete for many, many years. There are those out there who may disagree with the style of wrestling that Bockwinkle has generally adopted over those years. Tom Zink showing us that he's a young man possessing the same degree of dedication to his sport and to his livelihood as Nick Bockwinkle has exhibited for so many years. Wrestling fans, we are seeing an ascending star in Tom Zink. Make no mistake about it. The two of these men, Tom Zink and Nick Bockwinkle, without question, going all out, each giving 110% of the ring. Zink whips off. Bockwinkle misses the punch. Zink back with Bockwinkle showing savvy. Cut Zink right in the midsection with that punch. Zink outside the ring. Bockwinkle's grabbing him by the head. Slamming his head into the ring apron. And you just see the way, you know, Bockwinkle after slamming Zink's head into the ring apron. Dance back from the corner. Really, that's a psychological ploy. Nick is in great shape. Always has been and has prided himself in that way. But he's showing the fans that the degree of physical fitness he possesses. The pride he takes on himself when he dances back as he did. But look at Zink blocking the attempted punches from Bockwinkle and from outside the ring, throwing some very solid right-hand punches. Bockwinkle now backwards over that bottom rope and Zink laying in those big right forearms to the chest of Bockwinkle. Tom Zink now fighting back, Gino. The, the intensity in this match 
the continued intensity from the moment the bell rang astounds me. And look at the quickness Tom Zink is showing us. Blocking that right hand touch by Nick Bockwinkle. Throwing his own in. Ramming Bockwinkle's head into the top corner turnbuckle. Incredible. That's right, Milt, and uh, you know what? He did turn the tide around, and right now, Nick Bockwinkle is kind of groggy, maybe in trouble. Well, Bockwinkle again, a master of deception. A good drop kick by Tom Zink. Putting Bockwinkle flat on the canvas. Zink going for the cover. One, two, and a half. Two and a half. A blink of an eyelash is all Tom Zink was away from scoring a pinfall over this three-time world champion. Up in the air now. Atomic drop. Bockwinkle absorbing the force of that blow on the tailbone as Tom Zink lifted him up in the air. Atomic dropped him down. And now Zink stepping across the net. Bockwinkle bent over that top rope. This action deserves to go down into the annals of the history of this great sport of professional wrestling. Bockwinkle very wobbly right now. Throwing a right hand punch from nowhere that is destined for nowhere. Zink without question in command right now. Picking Bockwinkle up again. Slamming him. Covering. Zink, one, two. You see how well he's learned his lesson, Chino. He hooked the leg of Bockwinkle in the end with the effort to pin him, knowing that that extra bit of leverage could spell the difference between victory and not winning the match at that point. That's right. He does have Nick Bockwinkle, Rocky, as I mentioned before. Oh, look at this double knockout. Unfortunate I'll for Tom Zink. Tell you something. Bockwinkle is fighting from gut right now. He's fighting from instinct. The moves that he just used. Really got himself back almost to even, and he did it from instinct. You cannot discount the many years of top flight competition that Bockwinkle has engaged in. You cannot discount his experience. Look at this. Oh, but he couldn't hold Zink. He went to body slam him. Showed tremendous strength in getting him up there, and Zink almost scored the fall again. Off the ropes now with the leg drop across the chest of Bockwinkle. Can Zink pin him? Covering one. Two puts the leg again. Both of them. You can see exactly how tired they are. Both men have given up themselves like cannot be believed. No question they've each given 110%. There's the bell. There's the bell. Wrestling fans recognize eight years world champion Nick Bockwinkle on three different occasions spanning a total of over eight years has just wrestled 20 minutes to a draw with Tom Zink, one of the rising stars of the world of professional wrestling. No question, Nick Bockwinkle has been a great champion. Without question, is still a championship caliber wrestler. Tom Zink, without question, a future champion. And the two of them don't want to end it. Folks, they've gone 20 minutes to a draw. They don't want to quit. Bockwinkle views this almost in his own mind. He didn't win, therefore it's a defeat. 20 minutes to a draw, Nick Bockwinkle, Tom Zink, and they don't want to quit. Folks, stay with us. We'll be back. AWA World Championship to Stan the Man Hansen. He injured you in the process. All the fans and I thrilled at that brawl that you recently had with Stan Hansen in Texas, but I know that what is on your mind is regaining that AWA World Heavyweight Championship from Stan Hansen. Well, after that, uh, that brawl, like you say, in Whoa. Texas, a lot of people said, well, Rick Martel didn't go in that ring to uh, win the uh, title from him. He went there to uh, give him, you know... A, I, think a little a I think more medicine. revenge was on your yeah. mind than the belt, wasn't it? Yes, give Stan Hansen a taste of his me own medicine. Well, that's exactly what I did. I went in there and I said, hey, I'm going to fight fire with fire. This man almost put an end to my career and it took away from me, you know, everything that I worked for in my life, you know. I mean, my wrestling, my, my whole dream is that AWA title. And it's the way he did it because, you know, I don't mind competition and I don't mind fair competition, but it's the way this man did it that I didn't like. And now, now that I, I want this match, now, I would like to have the promoters from International Wrestling get me a rematch against Stan Hansen, this time in Canada. All right, so this man, Stan Hansen, is a champion. He can ask what he wants, and he gets what he wants. He wanted me to wrestle him in Texas, so I went to Texas, and I did what I had to do there. Now, I would like to wrestle him here in Canada, and I hope, I surely hope that the promoters of International do get me Stan Hansen here for a rematch. I'll tell you something. I wouldn't miss that match, and fans, if it's in an area near you, boy, oh, boy. I know the promoters in international wrestling are working and very hard to bring that match to us. Yes, and also I'd like to mention the fact, you know, a good friend of mine, Tom Zink, you know, I'm very happy oh. with all the success that, it, you know, this man is knowing right now. And, you know, I know this man deserves it because he's a great athlete, very disciplined athlete, and this man is definitely championship material. Rick, good luck with...